Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the stem and leaf combination for roses and flowers. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make these stems, which are fairly easy to make. And I'll also be showing you how to assemble all of the different units together. And the tutorials to all the different units should be available on my channel and I'll have a link to them in the description below as well. So if you want to find out how to make that, be sure to check it out. And now let's get right to it. Okay, so we're going to start with a square sheet of paper, and you're going to need to cut out about two to three of these little squares, which are going to be one-fourth of the size of the square sheet that you're going to use for your rose or flower. And what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these and we're going to cut them in half. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half in time-lapse, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've cut it all, we're going to start by taking our glue stick and we're going to take our first unit here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to one of the tips, it doesn't matter which one. And we're going to start to curl it out. So just curve it up like this. And just start to roll it down. And for the first stem, you want to try and make it as slim as possible. So roll it up nice and tight. And you want to roll it up this way so that it ends up going off the edge and becoming longer as it goes up like this and then take your glue and go ahead and apply it right on there just like that roll it up and let's just apply a bit on the tip there seal it up and your first stem piece should look like this, really nice and slim. For the second one, we're going to start to roll it up again. And we're going to start out thin, right at the bottom. So roll it up like this. Again, it doesn't matter which side you start on. This time, however, you want to start making the top part a little bit bigger. So as you roll it up, start to pull this up a little bit like this. Just like that. And at the same time, you want to try and keep the bottom as thin as possible. And now we're going to go ahead and glue it in. And we're just going to make this a little bit tighter because it did become pretty loose. And you don't want it to become too loose, so roll it back if you need to. And again, as you can see, the top part's becoming much bigger than the bottom. Roll it out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take the two pieces and we're going to see which one's bigger than the other so you want to try and figure out which one's going to go into which stem so now that we know which one's being inserted into the other we can apply a little bit of glue on that piece then go ahead and insert it in and again even on this piece here the smaller side is going to be on the bottom so the sides going to be the bigger side and you want to take your time with it and just sort of twist it into place. As you do this, don't put too much pressure, otherwise the stem is going to bend. And it should now look like this. Now the reason we put a big gap on the top here is because we're going to next insert in the leaf here. And you can decide when you want to insert the leaf in, it doesn't have to be now. You can uh, build up the stem a little bit more if you want to. And you just want to open this up a little bit. Insert this in. And the next stem you make is going to be really thin because the opening is going to be extremely small now because of the base of the leaf. So for the next one, we're going to just make it really thin. And just try and make it as thin as possible. Just 
just like that. Keep it nice and tight. Apply some glue. Roll it up. Just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and insert it in. The smallest side is the one that's going to go inside. And it's going to be a tight fit, so just squeeze it in like this. And you should then end up with a shape like this. Now this side, if you'll notice, has become small as well, so the next stem that we insert is just going to be a buffer stem. It's not going to have a leaf or anything like that because if we try to put a leaf in here, it's going to end up becoming too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our next piece and we're going to roll it up. And since we're putting in two leaves, we're going to need all the uh, little pieces here. But if you were just using one leaf, then you could finish it off with this right here and then just insert it into the silax, like that. But since we're using two leaves, we, we're going to make it much bigger. But even if you're using just one leaf, if you wanted to make it bigger, you could. It's entirely up to you, whatever you decide. So we're going to start to roll this up, and this time again, we're going to... So we're going to start to roll this up, and this time again, we want to try and make the bottom part a little bit thin, and the top part nice and big, so that we can insert the next leaf in. So roll it up, just like this, and allow the top part to become a little bit bigger. This time we're going to make it fairly big, like this, so that we can insert the bigger leaf in there. Just like that. Unroll it a bit, apply the glue. Roll it back up. And as you can see, the top part is big, but we also need the base to be a little bit big so that when we insert this stem inside, it's going to fit in nicely, like this. Now we're going to take our glue, apply the glue on this stem here, all the way around. Insert it into the smaller part, which is this side here, or the smaller opening rather, just like that until you get the shape. Now we're going to take our leaf, apply a bit of glue at the base here, which we're going to insert in. Insert it inside, and you can sort of position the leaf any way you want. I'm just going to leave it like this. And now we're going to go ahead and make our next stem, and I think this is going to be our last one. Again, we're going to make it really nice and thin so that it fits in right into that opening there. So go ahead, roll it up, and make it as thin as possible. And again, if you wanted to, you could use something like a paper clip to help you along. So once it's aligned, keep rolling it up. Apply a bit of glue. Finish rolling it up, and now we're going to insert it in, just like that. Actually, let's apply a bit of glue on this as well, so that it stays in place. Insert it in. Just like that. And you should then get the shape over here. Now we're going to take the silax here. And what you want to do is before you attach it to the stem, you want to take some liquid glue and just pour a bit in there. So what I like to do is I like to pour it into each of the corners. Just like that. Put in a good amount place the rows on top, and then just turn it upside down. And now you'll want this to sit on the side for a while, and just allow the glue to dry. And once it's dried, then we can cut off a bit of the base here, and then we can insert the stem inside. 
and we should then have our finished model so uh, I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'll be right back okay so once it's dried up a bit what we're going to do is we're going to take a scissor and we're going to cut out just a tiny bit of the tip you don't have to cut out much so let's see if that's enough start to pull the sides away from each other and it looks like we'll have to cut just a little bit more that should be enough what we're going to do now is we're going to take some glue apply it at the end here and we're also going to take a bit of liquid glue and pour just a tiny bit into the opening here so open it out pour just a bit and now it's time to insert the stem into this part over here just push it in right up to that point there and then you just need to allow this to dry and once it's dry you should have your finished stem and leaf combination so I'm going to let this sit for a while and once it's dry I'll be right back and that should be it okay and once the glue is dry this is what your finished model should look like so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial if you like the video don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time